This video describes the mechanism for transition metal catalyzed substitution of an sp2 hybridized heteroaryl halide with an amine nucleophile. This particular example is regioselective with substitution occurring at only one of three halides. Note also the use of a palladium-2 precatalyst, the sterically hindered phosphine, and a stoichiometric quantity of sodium tert-butoxide as a Bronsted base. Transition metal catalyzed substitution reactions take place by a catalytic cycle with three major stages, oxidative addition, ligand substitution, in this particular case with an association and a dissociation component, and the final stage is reductive elimination. In this case, the active catalyst is a palladium acetate monophosphine, which is probably monoanionic and has a formal oxidation state of zero. How does this palladium catalyst form from palladium acetate? This scheme shows the reaction of two equivalents of a phosphine with palladium acetate. The phosphine is in the phosphorus plus three oxidation state. Palladium is in the plus two oxidation state. First coordination of two phosphines with palladium acetate gives this tetracoordinate complex. And then electron flow from an acetate ligand to phosphine delivers two electrons to palladium, forming the anionic phosphine-palladium acetate complex as a palladium zero species. And then the other phosphorus is formally oxidized to the plus five oxidation state. This depiction of the palladium catalyst shows the steric hindrance imparted by the phosphine with two tertiary butyl groups as well as an ortho biphenyl moiety. The first stage of the catalytic cycle involves oxidative addition. This involves the insertion of palladium into the carbon-chlorine bond of the organic halide, and the formal oxidation state of palladium goes from palladium zero in the precatalyst to palladium two in the oxidative addition product. The oxidative addition mechanism is probably preceded by association of the uh, organic halide with palladium, in this case shown by coordination of one of the pyrimidine nitrogens with palladium. This brings the carbon-chlorine bond into proximity with the electron-rich palladium, which inserts through a three-center transition state to give the oxidative addition product. The next phase of the catalytic cycle is ligand substitution. The first stage involves association of the nitrogen of the aniline reactant with palladium. This amine palladium complex uh, is then deprotonated by sodium tert-butoxide acting as a Bronsted base, resulting in dissociation of chloride and formation of the palladium amide ligand. The catalytic cycle then concludes with reductive elimination. In the reductive elimination step, a nitrogen carbon bond is formed with an electron pair from the carbon palladium bond going on to palladium. This releases the organic product and regenerates palladium as a palladium zero anionic catalyst for another cycle of catalysis. To summarize, the cross-coupling reaction involves oxidative addition, followed by ligand substitution, and concludes with reductive elimination.